Hello, Dilio representing DilioT2K.com. DilioT2K. And in this video, I'm going to respond to an email. I like emails like this. I like to do more. Like there's general questions about music and stuff like that. And uh, this is from uh, Vivian. I hope I said the name right. And uh, she has three parts in the email, so we're going to talk about this. Uh, I'm going to read the email, and I'm going to respond to the three questions. All right, so the first question that she asked is, I want to be able to produce my brand as Vivian Rose. With saying this, I want to produce my own music for myself. So I skip out going to school for music production and just get a day job to support piano training. All right, so first of all, let's talk about brand. And it took a long time for me to understand what brand means. Everybody says, Mark, get, get your brand up. Yeah, you got to get your brand, man. What about your brand? Your brand, brand, brand. But nobody breaks down anything more than that. And so I, I, for a long time, I didn't understand what brand meant. Like, what do you mean brand? Okay, McDonald's, okay, McDonald's is a brand. Well, what does that have to do with me? Right? So um, you, I'll, I'll give you an understanding of how I understand brand. You are a brand already. Okay, you as an individual are a brand already. If you're an artist, you are the brand. You may have a website, but you and what you do and how you do it is the brand. Okay, so starting off with that, to brand yourself means to engage in the action that shows other people what you do. If you're a, if you're a singer, then your singing is your brand. If you play piano, that's your brand. Um, and as far as school for music production, I say go if you don't have to go into debt. Um, there are so many videos and courses online right now that can really put a lot a loop to put a lot of light to what you're trying to learn how to do as far as playing piano. It's probably an app. Like I would try an app to teach myself how to play piano before I would go to an institution at this point. You know, do I feel like institutions provide the best education? Yes, but they are very expensive and you got to pay them back if you got to take out a loan for it. And so when I talk about that, I'm thinking about the loan aspect, unless you can get some, some sort of financial aid or scholarship, you know, um, in the arts, it's a little tricky to take out that school loan to then, uh, to then go out into the, the world, you know, so. Yes, training is good. I think you should go to school for music production, but I would, I would, I would try a course too, if it, and and try that and see how you take that information first, or just you know we have YouTube. We didn't have YouTube back when I first started college, you know, so I didn't have that that resource. So I do advise a day job to support piano training. I do advise a day job to support that, and I do advise a day job to save up to go to school, and it may take a while, but Always, while you have a day job, find time to engage in the act of what you want to be doing as a living. So if you have a day job and you want to work as a musician, okay, work your day job. And then when you're off, go out and, and figure out how to be a musician. Go pursue that. Go fail. Go make mistakes. You understand what I'm saying? Because as you do that, you'll advance. And again, there's a lot of people on YouTube giving their information on how that's done. So that's the first question. Okay, question number two. If I did go to school for music, should I be open to working for others even though my goal is to produce myself? Yes. Um, you, you, you should be open to working for others. Here's the thing, though. One of the pitfalls that I ran into while doing stuff for others is that unless you're my, you know, you, you, there's a certain point to where you do it to learn. And then after that certain point where you learn and you got all you can get out, then it's, it kind of turns into people taking advantage of you, you know. So you got to find that place where you actually get something out of it. Um, and that's that's very important. Um, so I think that, uh, and at the same time, while working for others, work for yourself. You know, which one are you benefiting from most financially to help support the other? So, yeah, definitely, definitely, because you need to practice. If you're if you're talking about going to school for music, they need, they need, then working for others gives you the practice that you need to develop your talents and your skills to move it forward, you know? And that's that's sort of the free interns, but at a certain point, now you have to get to, uh, okay, I need to be hired for this. And even as you're advanced in your skills, there's still some times where you have to gauge and you have to use your own judgment. And this is something that I don't think can be taught. You kind of have to learn from your own experiences. 
okay, I should sew this for this person, you know. So thinking about that uh, helps you maintain a balance. Okay, number three, I watched your video on, on your experience at Full Sail. I wanted to try the online program, but I know it's a bit expensive. So I try to go anyway. I say try to go. See, see what funding is out there. I'll say just as much as you're able to research that online course, see if there's some kind of way to get funding for that. Okay. I just, I just, I just, the debt, the debt just makes me cringe, you know, um, especially with no set game plan. And that's the kind of interesting thing. I guess if you're in a course, like say, okay, we're going to, we're going to place you, place you and full sell, depending on what you're into, you might get placed. You might not get placed, you know, um, but I think I think it's better to to have a financial plan to eliminate the debt most, you know, like why why not save up and get some more money, get to reduce the cost of school, you know. Um, I'm just I'm just anti debt, and I know it's a tool. I know people do it all the time. Um, but you know, I didn't blow up after I graduated. I didn't. Other people had their stuff paid for. They had family like that, that was financially educated enough sorry i'm just trying to blow my nose they had <laughs> they had that so um try to go but try and best ways of funding it you know i'm just i'm just i'm just cringe on a debt thing so i hope that helps if any of you guys like this kind of content make sure you leave your questions below and if you want to email me i'm quite sure i put the email in the description and um, some general questions stuff like that if it's about talk box i'm actually doing a course on that but uh, other questions we can we can talk about that all right so i hope that helps and i'll see you guys in the next video